Good evening, Icy Potato. I want to congratulate you on uh, increasing success of your channel. And uh, I want to wish you success in uh, your uh, future endeavors, like uh, that you want to find a, a new place to live. I hope you're able to find a place that is suitable for you and that your uh, desire to uh, pare down will be not only successful in you are passing on stuff that uh, you no longer need, but uh, you are keeping those things that you do need, and uh, you will be able to acquire uh, other things as the need arises. Now, uh, I would, I could have shown a lot of the things that I have pared down when I recently moved at the end, you know, the near the end of uh, 2016, but they are gone. And uh, even when I spent uh, like 12 years in my last place, you know, I would get some stuff and then I would uh, pass on some stuff. And what I like to do is, if I cannot give it directly to a person who needs it, say uh, uh, last month I took three shirts that I purchased myself that are my size, but I chose to take them to an event that is a, you know, it was a memorial plus after party for homeless people who died uh, during last year. And I put them on the, on the tables that, uh, people who attended the after party could select from and uh, when I went to go through you know I, I went and got my dinner and I decided to go to the tables to see if the items that I had contributed were still there they were gone so I knew that uh, my plan had uh, been a success and that uh, I was able to meet the need of someone who needed that particular size of a uh, shirt to layer with for the winter. And of course, uh, I sold some things like, uh, I no longer play video games, so I sold my original Xbox plus the games and uh, other accessories that I had, including the fishing control, because I like the fishing game. I just never really got good at it. But, uh, then I sold my entire uh, Star Trek collection to uh, someone I met in a bus when I was trying to go somewhere else to try to sell it. And a guy uh, caught interest in it and he had bought the entire thing. And that gave me some money that I needed for uh, you know, getting some things that would help me with the move. Or something that I would need in this current place where I'm living now. But, uh, so same with uh, some things that I get now that I'm more interested into uh, prepping and bushcraft and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. I get items that I would like to have myself. Or I receive them as, as say, a prize, but uh, I then pass those things on to other people. Like, I recently bought an Ontario Rat 1 knife in green, but I passed that on, or at least I hope to pass that on to uh, another YouTuber who likes to give away what he calls pay it forward boxes and people donate items and money to cover the postage but apparently uh, something was uh, messed up and he never did get it and he should have had it like last week but I am going to try that again and uh, I even made uh, sets of ranger beads that I sent him and uh, so I am going to try that again and hopefully <laughs> there won't be that snafu, but anyway. So that is what I like to do. I like to 
pass things on. I live on a limited income myself because of, uh, you know, I'm considered disabled. Although, you know, I can't drive there, you know, I can't do the kind of jobs that I used to be able to do. But that doesn't mean that I still can't have a little fun. I can't go out in the woods anytime I want and, and uh, mess around with uh, setting up shelters unless I have a driver. But that doesn't mean I still can't do a little something. Where I live now, I can do stuff on my deck. I just have to be a little discreet and uh, do it on a minimal scale. You know, I can't put my tent on, on the deck because it's so small, but... It would look weird, but I suppose I could hang a tarp up there, but someone might think I'm really, really strange, and I'm not going to do that. But, uh, you know, even though I am into prepping and I'm slowly acquiring a stock of food, that doesn't mean that I still don't share with others. You know, I don't eat pork for religious reasons. But if I'm given an item that contains pork, then I pass it on, you know. Why should I throw that away when it's perfectly good that someone else could uh, have that? Maybe, may not be able to have a meal without that. And that's, that's another thing that I like to do. You know, if I can, uh, you know, if I have to give something that I have reserve for emergency uh, stockpile to someone who needs it, then dang right I will. Or if it is something that, uh, say, uh, my mosque can use, especially during Ramadan when we start to do our nightly uh, dinners, you know, we, uh, we fast from first light to uh, sunset and then we have dinner after the sunset prayer, but you know, at the mosque we have a big dinner every night. And so I contribute stuff to that. You know, I buy some, uh, you know, I'll buy a container of salt, but if I'm not gonna use it at home, I take it there, just like I recently did. I, I took one the last time I was there when I had to serve lunch to some guys doing some floor work, you know, I fed them lunch. I took my uh, container of salt and because we are low, so <laughs> that way we can have it for the next meal. Yeah, I do things like that. You know, and, uh, you know, I, I use a bus pass every month and I keep it sort of my phone, but... I had a token and someone needed a ride, so I told the guy, forget this. And I put that token in the fare box and said, there's your ride. And that way he'll be able to get to his destination and then go home. So, you know, that's just an example of what I do and how I do it. I'm sorry I can't show you these things, but, you know, it's, it's just the way I I work it, and uh, and I'll just keep doing that as long as I can. You know, I recently did a video on my uh, cook kits. You know, if if I go to a camp, a group camp, and uh, someone forgot to bring something to cook food in, you know, I. I tend to pack extra when I go to a group camp. And, uh, you know, last, last fall I did that. And uh, it's a good thing I did to take one item that I wasn't sure I would need, but I took it anyway. And it's a good thing I did because there, there was a need for... Uh, yeah, I, I took an air pump, even though my air mattress had a foot pump in it, and I didn't, but the air pump was needed to pump up something that was used at our group picnic, uh, an inflatable 
tub thing that could be filled with ice and, and drinks could be put in it. And so the air pump was needed for that. And, and of course, being a former healthcare worker, I still am interested in medical stuff. So I took a, an additional backpack full of medical stuff. You know, I was with a group and I want to be prepared to handle whatever emergency might come with any members of the group. So next time I go to group camp, I'll probably do the same thing. You know, that's just how I roll. So uh, for those that are watching this video, you stay till the end of this one. So I'm going to put the link to uh, Icy Potato down there so, so you can check him out. He does not have a subscriber goal for this uh, little shindig he's got going. But uh, he is at... 300 and... Uh, my phone won't focus, dang it. No, it doesn't want to focus, but he is at uh, 370 subscribers. So, for those that uh, want to see the next generation take up this uh, interest, this guy is it. He's uh, young, but he is already on the right track to uh, you know, doing things different than most young men his age, younger or older. So... Give Icy Potato a look. Check out what he's got going on. He does uh, gear reviews. He does comparisons. Yeah. So check out his channel. Give him a look. Subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.